Okay, I've made some serious mistakes on my last video and I need to clean up my mess. And uh, I listened to last night's program and it turns out that the guy I call uh, Whitley Stryber, uh, he calls himself uh, Whitley Streber. So, and, it, and as it turns out, he was actually a guest host who was filling in for George Nori. Um, so we're going to have to uh, make a few changes to the script here. I have a copy of the script. I'm going to extract uh, the script here. And, well, I'll click open and display. Okay, I'm going to make a few edits to this file. This is the entire script uh, that was available for download. And I'm going to make a few changes to it. So, okay, so I'm going to come down to, I'm going to look for, actually the first thing I'm going to do is change, oh, where is it, control F. <laughs> and host and find okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grep okay host I'm gonna change all of these instances of host I'm gonna change the variable to guest so I'm also going to grep uh, guest with a capital G, G, U, E, S, T, oops, and then come over here, and I'm going to type G, actually, I'm going to double check here, let's go to, uh, okay, coast to coast AM, I'm going to click on Oh, I actually am already in there. Okay, so see, it's actually the host here, where last night it said Whitley Streber. It says host George Norrie. So uh, basically, this will be tonight's show for the tenth, and I want to pull uh, Pat uh, Patricia uh, Corey. So right here, I'm going to pull this. Right here, click on copy there, so I don't make another mistake. And I'll just select that and then paste it in right there. So now it's instead of uh, searching for hosts, it's going to search for guests. And I shouldn't have to change anything here. I'm going to change host here to guest uh, because that's we changed the variable here, so we're going to have to change it down here too. So G U E S T. And then that should be, oh, nope, there's one right there. So guest, and there are no more. So, so there, that was simple enough to change, uh, whoops, whoa, whoa, G-U-E-S-T, okay, G-U-E-S-T, Uh, G U E S T, G U E S T, G U E S T, and G U E S T. Okay, so just to make sure that I I didn't make any typos there. Now, uh, now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to change uh, VLC. So right here in the script, I'm using uh, C VLC, which is the command line version of VLC. Now I'm going to get rid of this entire line right here and I'm going to switch to M player. Now uh, M player may or may not be installed on your system if if it is not uh you can just do a where is if you want w h e r e i s and then M player and see M player 
uh, is installed, just like uh, the last video. If it's not, you just type in uh, sudo apt get install mplayer. And then you type in your password. Whoops. And it's going to say that for me, it says mplayer is already the newest version. So that's what you would do sudo apt get uh, install mplayer. Uh, make sure that that's in there. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in mplayer. Um, and then uh, dump stream and then playlist and then type in this is easy URL because I already set it up here at the top URL equals and then kit AM uh, for this one uh, you are going to want to change it to something else uh, for the weekends because the weekends um, they pl they play uh, old cop shows or co old detective shows um, which is cool and all but it's not coast to coast so um, oh where is it okay M player dump stream playlist URL and then uh, dump file and then that would be uh, dir whoops actually yeah di uh, uh, actually would be file so because I made a variable here uh, that was complicated so uh, I made it into its own um, variable there so uh, and then file uh, variable so that should be simple enough oh and make sure that you put the ampersand uh, in there as well um, and that way it will make sure that all of this other stuff will continue running while M player is dumping the stream um, otherwise the thing is just going to hang there and it's going to continue recording until oblivion so um, or you restart your computer or the microwave cuts off your internet connection or something so um, now uh, these instances of kill all I'm gonna want to make sure that I change those to uh, it, um, M player so I'm gonna do a control out F uh, kill all click on find and then make sure that what, what control F Oh, why can't I spell today? Okay, kill all, find. Okay, so they're all instances of kill all. So kill all, m player. I know kill all is the dirty way of doing it, but it works. So kill all, whoops, uh, m player, and then kill all. M player and then that should be it and I think where did I uh, I put some other stuff in here so youtube dot com forward slash the village 88 make sure that I uh, Got all of the stuff here, so let, let me click on more info. What else did I want to do? Make sure that M player is installed. Change instances of kill all VLC to M player. Uh, change instances of VLC, and then change the extension of the uh, of the file variable. Uh, okay, to the file type that you're downloading, and so this will make it so instead of using. Um, uh, VLC and then having to use the muxer and then dumping uh, into uh, an mp3 file um, you don't want to have to make those kind of, of edits to it so um, M player 
is much simpler uh, way of, of dealing uh, with different file types it just it just knows what to do you don't have to tell it uh, so uh, M player is going to be the way to go here so let me make sure okay so dot mp3 right here in this file right here if you want to change it to a different if you want to change uh, this URL to a different if you want to use an MMS or an RTSP uh, MMS for Windows Media, RTSP for Real Media, uh, or whatever, uh, then you're going to want to change uh, this to uh, WMA or uh, RM or, or whatever your stream happens to be. Uh, Silverlight is uh, never going to be supported. I'm never going to install Silverlight uh, on my computer. Uh, it's not going to happen, so um, forget it. Now, uh, kill all M player. The MP3 file is ar already in there, and now it should, in theory, work. So I'm going to save it because I already have a backup uh, in this compressed file here. So I'm not going to worry about uh, having to make a backup. It's already there. So the one that was there before uh, is still working more or less. Okay, so now. I'm going to go into home and then music coast to coast AM and now it should make a file for or a one, oh that's right it checks the time too that's that's right so um, basically if it, I got a beginning time of 2159 which would be 959 and end time would be 3 a.m and then so right here it really it, it's determined by what time it is uh, how how it's going to how it's going to go so I'm gonna have to make sure that this is between uh, 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. and so I'm gonna go to system administration time and date click to make changes password in and I'm gonna go live somewhere in Asia click on close let's see what the date command says date uh, says that it's 1:30, so that'll be good um, it still says 932 that's not going to change until the next minute okay now I'll run my coast to coast AM file it should create a, a, a a new folder here and we'll see what happens so hopefully this will work uh, double click click on run okay so there's January 11 uh, 11 double click on there and Gary Schwartz um, there is no mp3 file for some reason I'm not sure what happened there so but let me just double check uh, guest 110 okay so let's see what the 11th says okay so the 11th does say Gary Schwartz uh, because it'll it, it's already already the 11th in Asia um, so uh, something is wrong with uh, this. Uh, oh, it creates a log file um, and it tells you every time that it tries to reconnect which is uh, really uh, pretty cool but uh, something is not working correctly and I'm gonna have to stop momentarily.